a group of Denton ISD parents are asking for federal investigators now to look into the district there. The group actually just wrapped up a press conference outside of Denton ISD headquarters. They say their kids' civil rights are being violated there. Federal law, just to fill you in here, makes it illegal, of course, to discriminate against anyone with a disability. But it also guarantees that students who have disabilities have equal access to educational opportunities, which includes a free, appropriate public education. As we were first to tell you yesterday, parents of several young special needs students say that standard is simply not being met. They say they are dealing with the lack of specialized education and certified teachers. My son has not had a certified teacher most of last year. They haven't had adequate staffing in the room, which has led to neglect. There are times where he went the entire day with maybe one or two diaper changes. One time he wasn't changed for over seven hours. A spokesperson for Denton ISD says they know about the two complaints that were made to the Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights. In a statement, they tell us, and I'm quoting, Denton ISD does not discriminate. We will continue to partner with parents to meet all of the needs of all students. Going on to say this includes or involves, I should say, a pre-K student who qualified for special education services and is currently receiving services. Before filing this complaint, they say the parent had agreed with Denton ISD at every meeting and they were supportive until hiring the referenced consultant. Our Erin Jones first brought you these allegations last night at 10 o'clock over on Channel 11. She